as I said, it's got this um, ETTL metering system for the flash. That's that big red eye there that fires out an infrared burst. There's no mirror lockup, things like that, or depth of field preview. There's just a button to open the camera back up again. On the bottom, here we go, batteries. This has got some annoying batteries because these these are, this is a, what have we got? Two CR5s. Now these aren't, not all two CR5s are made the same size. So sometimes you buy them for this thing, they don't fit. Is that gonna go back in? Yeah. I think there was a uh, battery group you can get for it as well. And then here's the door mechanism I was speaking about, if that stays in focus, that fails. And it's inside here, there's a catch. You have to replace it. So be very gentle with that. And there you go. I think that's all of the functions of that camera. Yeah, the timer. Yeah, so that's it. So that's the that's the um, super spacey Canon 50e with eye control. Yeah, very good though. Great camera. I don't know if I you'd ever want to use the eye control. So there you go. There you have it. Put that there. Okay, so that's the Canon EOS 50e with eye control. Um, clever technology for the time you have to give it to them i don't know how useful it is i've never used it i mean it's only got three focus patches but no um good camera i mean yeah i keep these around because i i've got a lot of ef lenses for film cameras for like video stuff so these are always handy to 